how to create and customize a blog on Payhip. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a blog and I will show you also how you can customize it within your favorite platform for creating websites, also blogs, which is Payhip. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to payhip.com. Sign in into your account and as you can see, we have the dashboard right there. So the first thing that we need to do is to see here the header. Then we are going to select an element from it, which is the store. Click on store. Now, as you can see, we have a control panel. We have the store, the blog post, the domains and etc. So the first thing that we are going to do is to visit the store and launch our store builder. This is the first thing. Then once the store builder is added, now we are going to head over the drop down menu, which contain here, or it is named in our case collection page. Since this is the home page, we're going to click on it. Now, as you can see, we are going to scroll down a little bit. We have a lot of pages categorization. We have custom pages, product pages, collection pages, blog pages, which is our today's video topic and blog post pages. We're going to click on blog pages. And as you can see, we are on a Payhip dashboard special for the creation of new blogs. Now, we are going to put the title of this blog. For example, we are going to type in Jack's blog. Or the Jack's, we are going to put like that. So for the comments, how should comments be handled? Comments are disabled, which is not a very familiar for us. Allow comments, but only publish after moderation. Allow comments and publish them automatically. So here we have two choices. If you can see or you see that the comments are going to be bothering you and the topic is going to be, uh, let's say a little bit sensitive, you can go ahead and click on allow comments, but only publish after moderation. So when you finish, you're going to click on add the blog. Now we have the blogs and as you can see, we have the Jack's blog. We can go ahead and click on edit and see the advanced options, which is creating a customized uh, URL for the blog. So we are going to let that we can go ahead and click on view and we can see it right away. Now back to the editor, we're going to refresh the page and usually you're going to see here your blog page right there. So as you can see, we have blog page, we are going to visit it. And as you can see, it is an empty space. So here we have the blog between the header and the footer. You can here control and customize the layout of it. For example, side by side, grid, etc. You can uh, put the page spacing for the vertical spacing only. We have the images. You can add images. You can add image placement or uh, regulate it. We have the uh, ability to control the uh, image spacing, also the image width. And here we have the text. As you can see, we can control the alignment, the excerpt, and etc. For the background, we have some uh, choices. We have some color schemes and we have some meta adjustment from the spacing, the delimiter, the secondary, and the primary meta. So here you can go ahead and click on back. We have the header and the footer that we should not mess around and also mess with it. So this is, you can also add the navigation link only don't, don't ruin it. So the header and the footer are made to be uh, static and stable. So you can add some links. Let's say here, you can add some uh, here, uh, privacy policy, um, I don't know, a lot of uh, here util or uh, unique links for your store. You can add some policies, etc., interim policies, and etc. Now, back here, 
you're going to add some sections and here starts our customization. So make sure that you are not or the uh, editing single page is enabled and not the edit all blog pages at the same time. If you enable that, you're going to uh, here add or modify all the blog pages right there. You're going to make some uh, here unified modification for them all. And it is not very usual to uh, make those. Go back to this. So I'm going to choose the blog page only. So if you have a lot of blog pages and you want to make them unique and also not unique, uh, you're going to make them the same. You can go ahead and click on that. So right there, we have also the change store style. You can go ahead and modify the color, not only the store, but also the blog page and etc. You can change from here the fonts. You can see there you have the headings, paragraphs. For example, for the headings, you can go ahead and put whatever you want from these parameters and etc. For the theme, you can also see the a theme library or the theme that are available and change them but this will not only be applied for the blog but all of the website or the store that you have now back where there are two sections i will present to you the sections that we have we have image with text galleries slideshows images text uh, here for the blog sections it is very very uh, appropriate to use the First thing to present your blog, you have to commence or begin with an image with text. So we are going to add this one, for example. Then we need to change the image. So I think that we can change the image. Yes, we can do that. But here, as you can see, it is set as a background. So here it is. You can go ahead and replace it. I'm going to click on uh, free images, then I am going to change the, it to this one. So this is how you can change the image. Now for the heading, you can go ahead and also delete the button. So I'm going to delete the button. We don't need a button right there, but you can add a heading and also a text and put it as a description. You are free to choose whatever you are going to add from there. And uh, here, as you can see, this is something uh, you need to save. But first, I'm going to be back right there. And then I'm going to put the header or the image above the blog. So as you can see, the blog has no blog posts found. So if you want to add some blog posts, you are going to click on the, the here a drop down menu. Then you are going to see the blog post pages. You are going to click on plus and then start creating your blogs. So here you can upload an image, use, for example, the blog that you want. You can include the author name, for example, Jack Smith. I'm going to start with that, upload an image, go ahead and upload any image that you want. So we are going to put here how to be uh, let's say how to get a good life, for example. Then you need to add the content right there, for example, like that. I'm going to just put an example on how we can do that. You can also add some images here on the uh, content itself or on the content. You can add whatever you want. This is a, a blog. Um, editor, as you can see, I'm going to put maybe a small version of it, or maybe you are going to here uh, let it like this or delete it. This is not very uh, uh, here starving for uh, putting an image with this size. So you can go ahead and put uh, the uh, heading or uh, the type of the headings like this, example like that, and now we are going to click on add right there. Now back to the editor, we are going to refresh the page and we can see here on the uh, blog page or the blog page like this, you can see here that we have a blog post. You 
can click on here read more and you are going to be uh, guided to the blog and you can also comment or the people can comment and share it wherever they want so for the sections you can go ahead and add whatever section that you want but the most important part is to add some blog posts so here we have a lot of things that you can add for example testimonials contact us faqs about me and etc so don't forget to make sure that everything is going well from here uh, from also the themes and here for the blog you can go ahead and see that we can change the background or the, or the color scheme to something like that to make it more unique white black or you can edit the colors like that for example and make a uh, let's say a unified theme or unified colors to this and also go ahead and add uh, don't forget to save the changes first then make sure that you are going to add a lot and a lot of uh, here uh, posts because you need to make a rich blog with the posts so to add the post it is very simple you need to click on the drop down menu at the header here you need to click on blog post pages click on plus and you are going to create your blog post from there go ahead and do the same thing then you are going to stuff here your uh, blog with uh, pages so for the modification it is uh, the same as uh, the story here for the sections you can get some ideas you can add some gallery right there you can click on the gallery see here the loading of the the uh, here as you can see uh, the sections then add and modify it and also customize it how much uh, as you want uh, or as much as you want for example like that you can also add a slideshow uh, then you can make it a little bit uh, better so here i have talking only about the desktop version but i have forgot that there is also a mobile version so you need to make it also a mobile version or a mobile friendly version of it for example you need to make sure that everything that you are going to add from these sections on the desktop version is going well within also the mobile version from the color of the fonts and also the uh, text uh, as you can see here um, uh, pixels or the size of them so thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one